Hello franchisees and welcome to the digital prop tutorial in the software called GIMP. So for this one we want to create a digital prop. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to file. From there we're going to open an image. Uh, the one that I have here is just a pair of glasses. Um, so once you see your file you press open and then it'll pop up. So the first thing we want to do is get rid of the white background. Now by doing that we'll have to add an alpha channel, but the first thing I want you to do is go to the channels area located in the top right corner. This is where the alpha channel will be located. To add an alpha channel, go to layer, transparency, and add alpha channel. And you can see in the top right corner an alpha channel uh, channel will be added. Uh, next after that we want to get rid of the white background. So to do this, we go to Select, By Color, and click anywhere in the white space. As you can see, there's now um, a walking outline around the black rims of the glasses. To delete the white background, go to Edit and Clear. As you can see, the white background is changing, and there's now a gray checkered pattern. This means that the background is transparent. If you want to get rid of the walking outline, you can just go to Select and None. And there you go. So after this, what we'll want to do is resize the image. So from here, we'll go to Image, Scale Image. This part is really important. You want to make sure the length on the image size is locked. That way, when you change the width, the height will change at the same time. So we're going to go ahead and put uh, 350 pixels in the width. After that, press Tab, and the height will automatically change. After that, press Scale. But we're not done yet. We want to make sure the canvas size is 350 by 350. So we go to Image, Canvas Size, and the width is already 350, and we want to change the height. This part is important as well. We want to make sure the link is broken so that when you change the width, it doesn't change the height automatically. As you can see, the width is already 350 pixels. So now we just want to change the height. Now the canvas is a square. All you have to do now is drag the glasses to the center and hit resize. Now you have a 350 by 350 canvas. Next what you want to do is export it. Go to File, Export As, we'll change the name first. I'm going to call it newglasses.png. Make sure it is .png. After that, we're going to go to the drop down menu and make sure it's a PNG file. There's a list of all different kinds of files. We want to make sure it's PNG. After that, hit export. And this window will pop up. You don't have to do anything here. Just click export. And now your image has been exported. To check it out, go to wherever you saved it and open it. If you're working on a Mac, you'll see that the background is gray. That means that the background is transparent. And that is how you make a digital prop. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, continue to watch my other tutorials on the Franchise Portal.